Judge William Alsup actually spelled it. PG&E has been a terror, T-E-R-R-O-R, -R -R, to the people of the state of California. I really wish I could play that tape for you, but federal courts ban recording, even when court happens on Zoom. So instead, we have to make do with quotes. Your conscience ought to hurt, Alsup told PG&E's lawyer. Your conscience ought to hurt that four people died. Alsop's talking about the fact that this tree was left standing, the tree prosecutors suspect of blowing onto this PG&E power line, sparking the Zog fire last September. But I lost everything in 45 minutes. My entire life was wiped out. Zach McLeod's wife and child, Elena and eight-year-old Fela, were two of the four victims. My heart sinks, the judge said, thinking about the people who died in this fire and others. Good ordinary citizens like that mother and child who died in the Zog fire on account of PG&E's recklessness. PG&E has a legal duty to cut and trim trees that could hit its lines and spark a fire. You did not do it, the judge said. He pointed to these photos from a PG&E inspection the year before the Zog fire. That tree was a clear and present danger to the line. It was reckless, maybe criminally reckless, to have left that tree, that gray pine, looming. It was leaning at a 60 degree angle over the line. PG&E wouldn't admit wrongdoing or agree that the tree should have been removed. What happened to the McLeod family was beyond tragic, and we need to figure out what more could have been done to stop that, PG&E's lawyer Kevin Orsini said, if it was sparked by PG&E. pg and is on probation for the San Bruno gas explosion. A federal jury convicted the company of six felonies, and since then, pg and has paid damages or admitted to crimes for sparking wildfires that killed at least 131 people. At every turn in the process, Judge Alsop said, pg and has resisted what this court has tried to do in order to try to protect the public from further crimes. pg and probation runs out early next year.